So this is a little bit of uh, updates for uh, the Infinity Verse, which is the fan fiction series I do with my friend uh, Jason Voorhees 2011. This is just a few quick updates I wanted to do. A um, couple things. Uh, first off, uh, the third chapter for Dark Phoenix, which is the next big event in our um, shared universe, is going on. Uh, that just got updated today as of this recording. And uh, something else got uploaded today, Mystic Wars. Now, if you don't know what Mystic Wars is, which obviously you don't, because if you're watching this, then you haven't read it yet. Mystic Wars is basically a new miniseries from me that uh, basically has uh, is going to focus on the magic side of the Infinity Verse and bring about the first Sorcerer Supreme, and it's going to have a lot of a few Yu-Gi-Oh characters along the way. So, there is that. I'm not going to say who is going to become the Sorcerer Supreme. I want to keep it a secret, unless you read the, the fanfiction. Then you might get a guess of who he or she might be. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's not a GX character. I know some people, when I talked about the Into the Infinity Verse on Yu in the Yu-Gi-Oh! segment, I didn't talk about the... Um, I didn't really go into detail... Um, well, a lot of people, I should say. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Basically, a lot of people thought that it'd be Jaden who was going to be the Sorcerer Supreme, and no, it's not Jaden. You're not going to see any of the, G of the GX characters in the Infinity Verse for any time soon. Anyway, so there is that. Going back to Fe uh, to uh, Dark Phoenix uh, Chapter Three, or if you want to look at it like a comic issue three, um, uh, Dark Phoenix Chapter Three is kick is going further into it. We are getting closer to the Phoenix and its rising. It's on its way to Earth, and the Sailor Scouts are taking a tour of the ba of the base of the Infinity League Skyward Tower. So you know you got that going on. A few other things that are coming out soon. Um, for the Infinity Verse is basically, um, <clears throat> is ba you know basically uh, what was I going to say? The uh, one thing that's coming out is uh, a few new spotlights that are going to be coming out soon. We've uh, Jason uh, Jason is currently working on a villain centric uh, spotlight. It is going to be a villain centric spotlight, and the one I did is also villain-centric. So you're going to have, for the first time in the Infinity vs. Spotlights collection, uh, two back-to-back -back villain... Well, no, we've actually had the Assassin Predator, so this would be technically the second and third times we've had villain-centric uh, spotlights. But they are going to be big. I don't want to spoil what they are. I really don't want to spoil what they are. I also am really excited to show you them because they're going to be really uh, they're really action packed, really grandiose, and the and one spotlight is going to focus on the uh, the arrival of the in, in, of a new character in the Infinity Verse in a big way. Not to give any hints, but it was a character that had a movie earlier this year. It's a character that had a movie this earlier this year, and yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It was a character that had a movie earlier this year and is uh, and is pretty much a villain. So you, mu you might have guessed what it is by now, but if you haven't, you're going to have to wait for that. Um, yeah, so we got you know you got that going on. Um, don't worry for those wondering what uh, when the next chapter for um, No Road Home is going to be. That's still a thing, but for those wondering, in chapter four you're going to see some other stories go on because I'm just going to say now chapter 4 is going to be a 3 uh, chapter 4 of Dark Phoenix is going to be a 3 month time skip into further in the future because yeah Jason decided that it would be interesting to have like the the sail of the uh Ma uh, you know, Sailor Moon and the others would have time, like at least some time with the League. Like they would, they would have some time because Chapter Three, uh, one through three, were all about their introduction. So we have Chapter Four, which is going to be like, yeah, there's a three month gap, and there will be, trust me, there will be stories in that three month gap in between. Um, hence the one villain spotlight that um, Jason's writing, and the one, the other villain one I did. There's also another bit of news, real quick, I want to mention in terms of another spotlight. This one I'm going to spoil. This is going to be a Wendy-centric spotlight. We, I'm going to be doing a Wendy-centric spotlight soon, which will actually answer a very big question. Well, in terms of fan fiction, because this is none of fan. It's fan fiction. None of this is canon. But I guess you could say official in the sense of fan fiction. 
so it's not canon. <laughs> so I guess in the terms of this universe, I should say. But basically, this, this spotlight is going to focus on who is Wendy's mother. This is going to reveal who in the Infinity-verse is Wendy's mother. And, yeah, you guys could... I, I, I am curious to see who you'll say in the comments of, oh, I think when, you know, you're probably going to make Wendy's mom this person or that person. You are not going to be prepared for who's going to be Wendy's mom in this universe. So, just going to say, you could guess all damn day and, and guess every female older female character in the Infinity-verse, and you still ain't going to get it. I'm just saying. But anyway, so there you go. There you go, guys. Just a few little updates here and there. And if you, as always, if you haven't read the fanfiction series yet, I will leave a link below to check out New Frontier, which is the kickoff point for this um, shared fanfiction universe. And, what, and uh, you guys can read from there. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.